stream live, but I just, in terms of, because uh, that'll be able to hear us just talk.
Igor. Good afternoon and welcome to St. Neots Town, the Prem. of Lachlan Brook, Nathan Young Coombs who of course makes his first start for Brentford and Joe Adams also is involved and he captains the side. And we'll run you through the Cambridge 11. Number one, Dimitar Mitov. Number two, George Williams. Number three, Jack Iredale. Number five, Greg Taylor. Number six, Lloyd Jones. Number seven, James Brophy. Number eight, Liam O'Neill. Number nine, Joe Ironside. Number 19, Adam May. Number 14, Wes Hoolahan is also involved. And Harvey Nibs also is number 26. And we'll be shortly underway here at the Premier Plus Stadium. A lovely evening. Not too warm. Obviously, this is uh, a lot of Brentford B players involved this evening. It'll be their first taste of action in pre-season after having those two games postponed earlier in pre-season. They were due to open against Sutton United and then go on to Hampton and Richmond, but COVID-19 uh, forced the side into, into a period of isolation, but back to it now. And it'll be Cambridge who get us underway. Cambridge United, of course, recently promoted from Skybet League 2. Now playing in League 1 next season. And it's a long ball forward by the Brentford back line, the Brentford trialist. Nathan Young Coombs does challenge, and Ryan Trevor will pick up the loose ball. And Trevor did look to drive ahead there, but he is brought down. Liam O'Neill with the challenge there. Ball comes back from the trialist to Ben Winterbottom. The ball's fed in well to Joe Adams there. Adams comes in short. He's played it out to the trialist left back. Paris McGovern on the ball now in the Brentford half. And he's rode a challenge there and he's going to come out to the right. Out to Daniel Igoki gets his first real touch of the game. But he is he is challenged there, but Paris does pick up the loose ball. The ball looks forward down the trialist left back. He is he's very quick and he has got on the end of it. He's played it back to Joannes. Joannes with a bit of space here. He puts the ball across all oh, and it's a really good low cross. Nathan Young Coombs was lurking in there, but he wasn't quite able to get in front of his man to get a shot away. Cambridge United recently on a, a trip to South Wales as they their pre-season campaign. They played two 60-minute friendlies. They won the first one 2-0, and I think it was a draw from the second one. So they'll be looking to kick on with their pre-season campaign this evening. There's pressure from Coombs Adams there, but the ball is lofted forwards. And the Brentford Charles number and the Brentford Charles just just does enough there. The ball's played into the far post. Oh, it was aimed at. It was aimed at James Brophy there on the left hand side, but it was the cross was just over here. He wasn't able to get on the end of it. And it's a throw in for Brentford. Daniel Ego down by the touchline. Oh, 
Ball forward. Pass again, but helps it on. Nathan Young Coos will chase. As the side, Neil McFarlane urges side further up. It's really good pressure from Nathan Young Coos. He blocks the goalkeeper's kick. And Joe Adams is battling away there on the far side. He does well, Adams. He's put the cross in low. Lachlan Brooks there. Oh, really good chance there for Brentford. Really good pressure from Nathan Young Coombs. Joe Adams with the cross. Lachlan Brooks couldn't quite divert his effort on target. It's a really good bit of play there from Brentford. Lachlan Brooks, who's obviously in his second season now with, with Brentford and Brentford B. Actually got some minutes at Bournemouth with the first team recently. As Mitoff looks to get his side up the pitch. And the striker isn't challenged there. The trialist has to nod the ball back and it's really good defending there. And Ben Winterbottom just collects a loose ball. We have a nervy moment that for Brentford. The ball was over the top. It wasn't dealt with. Thankfully Winterbottom was alive to collect that loose ball. Winterbottom now finds the trialist. And he comes across. Daniel Ligoki now. Ball comes inside. Brentford B, of course, been training at Harrow School recently while uh, work continues at Jersey Road. Neil McFarlane putting his side very much through their paces in the, in the recent sunshine. They'll be Pleased to get some minutes under their belt this evening. Cambridge are making it really difficult for Brentford to play through the lines there. It's coming very much across the back four. And there's a ball over the top looking for another trialist left back. He's certainly got some speed, but I don't think he'll quite catch that one. Cambridge building towards their uh, League One campaign. They've still got QPR and Northampton to play in pre-season. After seven consecutive seasons, they were in League Two and they finally managed to claw themselves out of it into the third tier. The ball comes forward once again from the goalkeeper. The Brentford tries does challenge, but Cambridge do win it. James Brophy looked over the top there, but then went to bottom once again alive to it. Ball into Trevor. Headed away by the trialist. Joe Adams will challenge. Joe Adams, of course, wearing the captain's armband. Spent time on loan at Grimsby Town in League Two last season. Getting the pre-season under his belt with the bees. Back with the United back line, back to the goalkeeper. Nathan Young Coombs will chase again. He's really, really looked very sharp, Nathan Young Coombs, in the early moments. Not allowing the keeper any time on the ball. Cambridge look for a quick throw. Goes over the top. And it's Brophy now on the left hand side. He goes inside. And he's made the run there. Really good move from Cambridge. And it's a really, really good opportunity. One of the best chances for Cambridge. Ball played inside. And the shot just on the penalty spot. He was unmarked. Wes Houlihan, but couldn't quite connect properly in order to test Ben Winterbottom's goal. The trialist now looks inside. He's under pressure there from Cambridge, but he just about recovers as it comes out to the left-back position. Looks for Trevor, but it's very untidy there from Brentford in the middle, and the ball looks forward. Again, Ben Winterbottom's out very quickly to command his goal. Looked like Joe Ironside might just get a little opportunity there to have a shot, but credit to the Brentford keeper, recently turned 20. 
Daniel Oyego drives forward, really good power and pace. He comes inside. Brentford will look to just keep a bit of possession here, get a bit more of a foothold in the game. Nathan Young Coombs, oh, very sharp once again, the striker, he's onto the loose pass, but credit to Mitov, who's out very quickly. The ball's out once again with James Brophy, the ball comes across, and the trialist takes no chances and clears straight out. And it looks like we'll have a Cambridge corner. James Brophy comes across this far side to take the corner. Going to test that Brentford back line. Number of trialists in that back four. The ball comes in and it is headed away by one of the Brentford trialists. And there's a really good block there. Looked like Greg Taylor had a shot. I think it was another trialist who managed to get the block and we'll have a corner on the far side now. Cambridge delivery. Ball comes in, Ben Winterbottom's under it, but Daniel Oigo just again doesn't take any chances there and heads behind for a corner. Brentford under a little bit of pressure here, it's a third consecutive corner for Cambridge. and the referee's spotted a foul there and Brentford will regain possession. Yeah, McFarlane just urging his side there just to take their time, get set. Under a bit of pressure from Cambridge here. They go short to the trialist. Quite a bit of pressure here, Brentford, but it looks like the Charles has done really well. And he's actually looks like he's won himself a throw down on this right hand side. And the real pressure came in really looking to press Brentford. Saw the trialist looks back to winter bottom. Ball comes up down this right hand side. Ryan Trevor will challenge for it. Greg Taylor, commanding defender there, just got ahead of Ryan Trevor. Balls out to the left of Joe Adams. Now Paris Magoma, he looks long for the run of Nathan Young Coombs. Nathan will chase. Looks so like there's just a bit, yeah. And he's offside there, Nathan Young Coombs. Looked very dangerous in his opening minutes, but Cambridge will now regain possession. Cambridge on the right hand side and the ball is forward but it's too too much on it and the trialist will collect and he goes along looks for Joe Adams Joe Adams is challenged there he's really really heavy challenge from behind there on Joe Adams medical is on just to see if he's okay there it's quite a challenge and just in this stoppage we can uh, bring Brentford B technical lead Alan Steele in Alan first of all how are you good summer yeah good thank you lovely to see you Good to have a game as well. Yeah, nice to be back. 
how was how's things been summer for you guys in terms of the, the recruitment? Obviously, a bit of a, a setback in terms of the games that were postponed. Yeah, with regards to recruitment, you can see the number of lads out there this evening. We've got some great lads who've joined in the programme this year and obviously really exciting the number of lads we've been able to bring in early. So um, I think a lot of what you see off Nathan in the, the opening 10-12 uh, minutes, the way he presses, the way he moves, I think he's going to bring a lot to us this year. Um, Daniel right back, um, really impressive signing. Um, again, you see early his speed and you see him now, the way he moves. Um, he's a great athlete, but obviously a really good technician as well. Brilliant. Obviously, pre-season has been slightly different this year in terms of the uh, time spent at Harrow School. That's uh, some really, really good facilities for the, for the guys to kind of make the most of. Yeah, exceptional to be honest, Ben. The, um, the amount of time we've spent there over the last few weeks and the, the support that they've given us has been brilliant. Um, I think that you know, the boys have really tried to utilise the facilities as well. and A bit of poor work afterwards for recovery and the extra space we've got, the running track as well. Um, boys were tested on the track, uh, uh, track day recently so yeah really really good great little place to have a pre-season camp OK we have it in midfield Brophy isn't challenged there and West Miller Ham will just about manages to keep hold of the ball he is brought down but the ball does come out to the right hand side and it's George Williams out on the right can he get across him no he chooses to go back goes back into Adam May and the ball comes across Now with James Brophy, who looked to get down the left-hand side. He's prayed on his left back, but he's miscued and Brophy will get English. Alan, your thoughts on the first 13 or so minutes? Do you know what? I think we've actually been well in the game. I'm really pleased, actually. Um, I know you mentioned a moment ago about the games that, unfortunately, we had to cancel. And my apologies to everyone and everything that had gone around to, to set those games up and obviously the people who were involved. But um, yeah, this being our first exposure to match minutes this season really pleased with the intensity and the level the boys have played at it's that those fixtures we come back to it again playing against a team like Cambridge at a league one it's a number of teams that will a number of players out there that will likely start for Cambridge in league one these are the sort of games that you want aren't they this was you know, on the back of being our third game of pre-season would have been tough but it's going to be tough tonight no matter what you know, they're, they're on a bit of a crest and getting promoted last year but they've actually got a really strong team out this evening Ball's crossed in there, James Brophy out and the Brentford Charles does head away. It's the second ball there and another Charles does hook it away and Brentford will look to get out here. It's a real bit of pressure from Cambridge. Brentford got to stay solid here. And the ball is out on the right hand side. We'll go back to I think it's George Williams. The ball comes in, really good cross. Oh. And it was uh, Harvey Nibs there, really good opportunity for Cambridge but he wasn't able to get on the end of it. Alan, your thoughts? Yeah, do you know what? I was actually just reminiscing about 60 seconds ago, where's Hulan's nutmeg, one of the lads. And um, do you know what? I was watching him in the warm up. And to think of a gentleman of his age, but his, his standard, he's unbelievable. Um, his attitude, the way you can see him now talking to his teammates. And um, yeah, he's a class, class professional. And what a chance for, for our young boys to come up against him and try and try and learn something. Let's so hopefully they can stop him first. Ben went to bottom with a goal kick. He looks for Nathan Young Coombs, but it is headed away by the centre back. He's got a real job on his hands, Nathan Young Coombs there down the middle. Ball comes out once again to the left hand side. Back to meet on Lachlan Brook will press. It's credit to the goalkeeper, he was comfortable on the ball there, and he's played out to the right. Joe Ironside will battle with Paris Magoma. Really good play from a go, but he's actually brought the foul there. Good to see Paris back, Alan. Yeah, Paris, you talk about new signings. Paris is someone obviously coming back um, after playing the last game at Tottenham, but uh, he's had a great off, off season and uh, got a really positive view of us. Nathan Yokoon's battles. Joe Adams on the ball now. He's going. Uh, he's just crept out of play there, Joe Adams, as he looks here. Recycle possession, but uh, United will have a, a throw in on that far side at St. The Ots. Lovely ground, isn't it, Alan? St. The Ots. Obviously, we came here in April. Yeah, they've upgraded the pitch since then, for sure. Yeah. Well, that looks like someone's had their, uh, their nine iron out on it as well. <laughs> a couple of the divots. No, it's a great place, and I know that obviously they've got a really good relationship with, with Cambridge, so obviously, the, obviously the number of lone players who have come here over the years. 
but yeah, really great place, and um, they've looked after us as well, not just uh, not just tonight, but also the game we played previously. We certainly looked after us in terms of getting this stream ready. And Jack Ardell looks back. Greg Taylor comes across, and Joanna's will press. Brimford really looking to press those those Cambridge defenders. And the trialist left back will just manage to creep ahead there. Ryan Trevor with the ball. He looks quickly for Lachlan Brook. Bit of space here for Brook. He shoots. Really good effort from Lachlan Brook. He took it early. And it's down to Mitov's left. A really, really good stop from Mitov. I think it just needed to be a bit more in the corner for that one. Yeah, I'm not too sure he was, probably would have wanted it to go that side. Probably would have wanted to go to the opposite side. That natural shape to take it away from the keeper. But um, Yeah, great ball from Ryan. Really happy to wait at the pass class. Yes. 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 Looks after the ball there in possession. And Cambridge go out to that far right hand side. And I look to charge up with Lloyd Jones. Obviously we look at this uh, this lineup today, Alan. Obviously there'll be a few players missing in terms of Brentford B players, the likes of Finn Stevens, Max Haygarth, all training up with the first team at the moment. That's obviously we miss those guys, but they're up there for the right reasons. Exactly that, and I think that's a massive part of what we want to try and achieve is give those boys the exposure and the chance to go and train with uh, you know, is now a Premier League squad. So uh, I think that's credit to, to Neil, Sam, uh, to everyone involved really, the time and effort that's been put into those boys and obviously the the lads who have come in recently, you know, especially Finn, Lewis, you know, Alex, those guys come in over the last year, the recruitment's been top class. Brooke looks out to Daniel Oyego. Check inside for the Brentford trialist in the middle. He switches it out to Joe Adams. Good looking ball, but George Williams does his defensive duty as well and just creeps in front of Joe Adams. Obviously, Alan, you mentioned the uh, the Premier League there. What does that mean for Brentford B? At the moment, I think you know, picking up games like this, you know, now all of a sudden the, the exposure that the first team will bring us in this group, Cambridge and, and a number of league teams will want to play us. And I know they have done over the past years, but you've now got an opportunity to put these boys into different environments and to really test them. Clearance there just looked like it came off the shin of Daniel Ogok, and it will be a, a Cambridge throw in a really good, dangerous position here. I don't think, with regards to the, the setup, the professionalism, um, you know, linking back to the Premier League, for us that's about you know, we've got an opportunity now to, to continue to push our standards, but I think that's been something we've tried to do over the past years anyway. Ball now with Wes Hurlihan, a bit of time. He does look inside, there's a bit of space here for James Brophy, he'll come onto his right foot and it's a really good stop by Ben Winterbottom and he just about manages to collect it at the second attempt. Yeah, that was another one I think, probably in an ideal world, if he does that three, four games into the season he's going to want to push that a bit wider, yeah. use the shape to go wider of Ben. Obviously competition of placing that goalkeeping department now within the B team, just bringing Matthew Cox in as well. Yeah, really good signing. Um, uh, I think you look at the, the level of these boys now um, and, and the age of Matthew, it's a great, great moment for us to be able to bring in a, a young, young England goalkeeper. Um, but I think that's going to... There's a ball here, sorry, with Ryan Trevor. He's in really good position here and he does score. He puts Brentford 1-0 up. He timed his run. I think the, the Cambridge defenders looked to the linesman, but he didn't, he didn't put his flag up. And Ryan Trevor there with a really, really accomplished finish and it's 1-0 Brentford. Alan, your thoughts? Yeah, you know, just I'm still looking at the linesman. He's getting a bit of grief here because I think a few of them might, might actually think that was offside. But I think he was onside personally. Um, Certainly, had a lot of space, didn't he? Yeah, I, th I think it was the main left side centre back. I'm just going to check. Ryan, for, for Ryan to now be part of that game, that's really impressive. I know Ryan has worked on that massively over the last few weeks and over the last year with us. Speaking to Ryan recently, he did talk about wanting to add goals and assists to his game, and he's, he's done that in the first game. Trying to watch that goal back to see if he certainly was onside or not. Ball 
Jones down the left again for James Brophy. He looks to take on the trialist. He isn't able to get past him, but the trialist does bring him down. And a United free kick here. Outside the, the Bradford box, and some opportunity for him to put the ball in the box here. Opportunity for Wes Hulan to put the ball in. Alan, you've watched the goal back. What are your thoughts? Could have a little bit of an argument here, up on the gantry here. Some of us saying he's on, some of us saying he's off. We could have a look at another screen. <laughs> well, the matters is that Ryan Chevitz put Brentford ahead and it is 1 0 to Neil McFarlane's side. It Cambridge will look to come back. The ball is into the box and it's headed. That's a really, really good stop there from Ben Winterbottom. I think it was Lloyd Jones who got the header and Ben Winterbottom clawed the ball away. Top save that one. That's a tough save that one because as the ball bounces down, obviously Ben's got to adjust his feet. And it's actually come up really, really high. I thought it was going to creep over him at one point. Brentford <laughs> did look to break there, but this time the linesman has put his, uh, his flag up. Ball over the top here, there's a chance. Oh, he's just put it wide. I think the angle wasn't right for him in the end. That's Another an unbelievable ball through. Another good chance there for Cambridge, Allen. Yeah, do you know what? That was a little bit of a wake up, I think, because that was relatively easy to get over that part there. And I think it would be quite nice, actually, give the boys a bit of a wake up. It's been interesting, actually, just looking at the way we set up. I mean, we've, we've obviously gone with a 4 3 3 this evening. Cambridge played I know, a lot of last season as well as a 4-2-3-1 and you see the, the, the two holders in midfield there. You should think actually there's a battle from midfield, it should be quite even. Um, but I actually think we're doing really well at the moment. You know, Paris, and, you, know, you see the Roy picking the ball up there, I'm really pleased with Paris and the way he's getting kind of more advanced positions. Um, for Ryan as well, someone who's just turned 18, I mean, this is a really big test this evening. More defensive work there for Brentford to do. We have to continue battling to stay ahead here. There's been a few corners, obviously, for Cambridge. Let's see how we deal with this one. They've tried to do a couple of bits and pieces, quite inventive. Let's see if they play where Zuland's free at the top here. I think he might actually look to get on the ball. shouldn't happen. Really good punch there from Ben Winterbottom. Yeah, they're just finding a bit of space actually, our corners and set pieces. I know a lot of that would lean onto the quality of players. Oh, to oh. Hurt to go there. And Cambridge level, and I think it's Harvey Nibs there with a the header. Brentford be disappointed with that defensively, Alan. Do you know what, again, I know it sounds silly, but the, the, the ball in is unbelievable. Who learned to pick that ball up with a bit of space? outside the left foot, just put it in between the players and you know, Ben can't come, defenders can't clear it, that's a very good goal. It's Cambridge level here, probably deserved on the balance of play in terms of the number of chances they've had. Yeah, and you know, like I said, it's a shame really because we just had that little wake up and you think the balls at that point would just get a little bit more secure. but. You're playing this level of team, you're going to have to expect setbacks and it'd be nice now to see the lads how they deal with this. Yeah, it's all about that reaction now, isn't it? You look to those kind of the leaders in the side. Yeah, I mean, this is not just being our first game, this will be one of the toughest games we've played all season. You know, you're playing against a full-strength League One team here and a team not only that in League One but obviously had that momentum from the back of last season. They've just had games against Cardiff, they played Tottenham. Uh, this is a good team here, and I know their manager won't be pleased by them going behind. There's Brophy here down the left hand side, the ball is in. I think it's Nibs who again, it was unmarked on the far post, but Brentford do just about recover. Yeah, that cross needed to be flatter, put it too high and took the sting out of the attack. They're just coming into it now, you can see a little bit more, they're just getting a bit more possession, a bit more speed, and obviously the crowd, I think there's 
roughly a thousand people in here this evening, so the crowd just starting to get behind them a little bit as well. Nice to see a few Brentford shirts around here. It's quite a journey, isn't it? Yeah, amazing to be honest. Hopefully, there's a few more as well. I can't see wearing shirts, but no, really good for guys to come down. It's another element, isn't it, Alan, in terms of the playing in front of crowds? We obviously missed that last season. It's an important development for these for these young players. Massively, the, the, the amount of time that we spend, you know, working with them in the training pitch. But a lot of them will be judged when they get the opportunity to play in pressure situations. And these things now, this is exactly it. Crowd on the back, an away game, a hostile environment. You just think, actually, I know it's pre-season. And it, the game's not going to be the same as it would for Cambridge's first league game of the season, but for our boys, you know, you've got lads out there 18, 19, 20 who are playing against crowds for the first time in a long, long time. Yeah, this is a really, really good test for them. Ball up by Ironside does win it. Houlihan picks up the loose oh. ball. It's a really, really good pass from Houlihan, and Nibs is in here. And it's a challenge by the, uh, the Brentford trial. He just about does enough, and the ball's loose, and Ben wins the bottom collects. Really good pass that from Houlihan. Well, I'll, I'll, I, was, I know I said before, I watched him in the warm up. Honestly, he's, he's a joy to watch. Not too sure he's going to get close on this press, but he's unbelievable in possession. Nearly half an hour gone here at the Premier Plus Stadium in St Neots. Daniel Oyer go with the throw. Looks to Trevor Oyego back into the trial as he'll hook it forward, but there's no one there. It's over Nathan Young Coombs' head. So now Coombs is now on the press. He does that, everywhere else should go. So all of a sudden yeah. now that just makes that space there even tougher. And I think that's where we win this one and then this next one. That's good. Go on, it. It's challenged there by the trial for the referee. Questionable decision there. There was a both going for the ball, boot to boot perhaps. Yeah, I think if it's, it's not pre-season friendly and it's not their ground, I think, um, yeah, he lets that one go. And they've taken it quickly with Williams. It's a really good tackle by the Brentford trialist there. And Joe Adams will just knock it against Houlihan to win himself a throw. Ball four, and we're going more challenge, but it's a really, really good interception there. And Houlihan's there in the middle, battling with two Brentford trialists. Came just about managed to keep hold of it and they've won themselves a, a free kick here. No Jones in there with Wes Houlihan. Ball comes across. Nathan Young Coos keeps chasing. Really, really good work rate from Nathan Young Coombs there. The ball looks wide. Once again, the Brentford trialist is in the way. Loose ball's collecting Magoma. Now to Trevor. Trevor looks out here to Brook. Daniel Ogok will look to overlap on the right. Lockman just checks back just to give, give his team a little bit of a breather. And the ball goes forward. Looks for Adams in that left-hand channel. George Williams challenges. Brentford do retain the ball. There's a bit of space here for the trialist in the middle. Looks to Gerard, it's really good play by Adams. He finds Magoma and he looks wide to Nathan Young Coombs who will chase. Nathan Young Coombs looks to get at George Williams. He's broken into the box here. Oh no, he looked to pull it back from Magoma, but the pass just wasn't quite there. It looks like Nibs got in the way. Nathan Young Coombs has managed to get the ball back. He's shot from distance, but it's a really good block there. And it looks like Brentford will have a corner here. A bit better, Alan. Well done, yeah, that's all about Coombsy, that. Just the way he worked, chain, picked up a position on the left wing. Um, once he's done that, obviously picking up that second ball on the, on the counter press as well. Really pleasing for him. Uh, just here over the time, 726 people are here this evening. I had a guess at a thousand, a bit off. <laughs> <laughs> Brentford making it really difficult to be picked up here. They've all really grouped together on the edge of the box as Paris Magoma looks to take the corner. Balls in from Magoma. A pen. It's a challenge in there, Daniel Oyogo, I think went down, he got up and he, he struck, ah, it's a penalty. I think I was watching the, watching the kick, Alan, what was the, the tugging in there? I saw Daniel Oyogo went down. Yeah, I think it was Ironside's marking down, he's, he's blatantly pulled him back. Um, a bit obvious, and interestingly, on the other side of it, when they're attacking, they try to block 
and they're attacking corners, they've tried to block people. I think he's actually given it for a handball. Has he? That's what he's saying. Nonetheless, here's a penalty, and it looks like Joe Adams will step up to take it. Joe Adams looking for his third goal at this stadium. He obviously got two here back in April last season. Mitoff looks to make himself big. Joe Adams steps up with his right foot. And it's a really, really good penalty from Joe Adams. Bottom left-hand corner, Mitoff went the wrong way. Yeah, it's a good pen. Yeah, I think he's given that for the handball. But it's definitely some pulling in the box, but I think part of that's what the guys have actually got to get used to. I know, you look at their, their attacking corners, Cambridge has set up a, a couple of little blocks on players, and the referee spotted it, and that there as well went from a defensive point of view as well. Brentford back ahead, 2-1 with a goal from Joe Adams. Chuffed a bit to him, to be fair, and again, you look, go back to what Nathan and Coombs has done in the build-up to that, and, Obviously, to win the corner in the first place, you know, we've lost the ball on the top of the box, and it was his attitude to win, and win it back. It's a good play here from Trevor. He looks in the middle for Adams. It's a really good defender there. Brentford looking to make the most of this. Another bit. Really, really good spell. Ball looks out to the right. Good for Joe to get another pre-season behind him. Alan, another goal for him. He's a he's a goal threat even even in open play. Yeah, I think he's probably played the most positions across the whole whole club. I thought it's going to even up and the referee. Yeah, he's played the most positions across the club. He's really effective and but actually very useful as well. So I know he's got some really good performances for the Welsh under 21s during the summer as well. He's in the ball again now. See what he can do. He's gone on the outside this time. Looks oh. for Nathan Young Coombs, but it's good defending there from Cambridge. It's a free. Joe's got the ability then, you can tell he's gone on the outside. He's, he's really is two footed, so he's gone on the outside of the player there and he's got the ability to cut back in as well. So I think as a winger, that's probably his strongest position where he plays high and wide. Keeping an eye on these Cambridge defenders here and the little little tug. Really good position this for Brentford in terms of this free kick. Gil Paris, what would you go with Alan? Is it looks like it's gonna be Paris or Lockman to put it in? Makes more sense, probably Paris on the right foot. Yeah. And hopefully get it across this back post maybe. Ball in from, from? Uh, it's a really low one, it's blocked straight away. Ball comes out to Adams, he's on the edge of the box, he's under pressure from Houlihan, but he will look after the ball. Lockland Brook, really good cross from Lockland Brook. He was aimed towards the, the trialist centre back who was up there, a real tall Coombsy, figure. Look at Coombsy, look at Coombsy. Look at that. Unbelievable work rate from Nathan Young Coombs there. Hasn't actually played a game since uh, December, has he? <laughs> no, he's a bit of time. I reckon that's probably him done as well. Now. <laughs> no, he's been brilliant. Uh, you see him in training. Um, he's great in and around the box, but I think it's that side of the game where it cuts the strikers apart now. Summer recruit from Rangers. Was he a player that you saw a fair bit of at Rangers, Alan? Yeah, we're lucky enough, obviously, given the exposure that Rangers have in their games program, you can you know, get access to quite a bit of the footage. And yeah, he's someone that's done really well. Um, he was obviously known from his time down in England before that as well. So yeah, good lad as well. Really got on with him. Michael Brook is just challenged there. And the Cambridge player managed to get in front of him. And Lachlan fouled in there. Ball back reunited. Quite a few of those free kicks were just given away. I know yeah. that obviously they're higher up the pitch and they're not, not putting anyone in the box, but I think if we do that closer to the, the area, we might get caught out by another one later on. George Williams there, look to go falls down the right, look for Houlihan, but once again the trial is left back very quick. Managed to get the block in with a Cambridge throw. Yeah, it's really interesting to see the speed that our boys are moving at. So this ball, ball shifts across and just trying to get those lines up. Really good pressure there from Trevor and Magoma. Really good skill from Magoma. And Trevor set Adams away down here, down the left. Really early cross from Joe Adams. Look for Nathan Young Coombs, but good defending there from Lord Jones. Adams takes the free kick, uh, the throw quickly, sorry. Looks to get in and com combine with Trevor, but Cambridge managed to clear. 
really lively first 36 minutes for Ryan Trevor there. He's got his goal. Magoma looks at Nathan Yankoos. Chance Nathan Yankoos. And it's 3-1. He's got a goal. Nathan Yankoos very well deserved. Really good play there. That's great play on top of the box. Great little combination. What a ball through. Brilliant. A good finish from Coombs. He deserves that. He really does deserve that. First goal for Nathan Young Coombs. He's had a very, very good start to life at Brentford. Yeah, and that's a great goal as well. Good finish. I'm really pleased for him actually. Like I said, that's what he's been doing in training. And you can see him doing it. And I see Neil talking about the energy now that boys need to just keep going through. You know, less than 10 minutes to go to half time. At this point, you now say, well, do you know, you're, you're two goals up on a, on a very, very good team. Um, yeah, he must be chuffed to bits with this at the moment. He'll wait a very long time for that goal on that field. <laughs> After not playing since December. Yeah, he seemed tired afterwards, couldn't really celebrate. <laughs> One thing I've noticed about Nathan young as well, he's very vocal on the pitch. He's actually quite reserved off the pitch, but on the pitch he's a completely different, isn't he? Yeah, it's a great asset to have. He's realised, you know, the professional side to this game and communication is key. I just, oh, I thought they had a chance then. Uh, Again, interesting to see the line. Look at the speed the boys get up. We need to take that line up, get up to the halfway line. So, you've got four or five players there offside, and all of a sudden they can't play. Interesting to pick up the second ball. It's going to Not too sure they get that ball, that ball back, actually. The kids have nicked it and they're playing on the side. <laughs> Back with Cambridge. Nathan Young Coombs working hard. Balls over the top there, Daniel Legault does challenge, but it looks like he's won himself a goal kick. A few times now, just tried that, just trying to use that kind of more of a lofted ball over our back line. And I think once we, we get accustomed to it and we start to learn that what they're doing, I think we can you know, prevent that being, a, being an issue. Clearance there, Ryan Trevor looks to get in down this right hand side. That boys towards those kids again, I think they've got that one too. <laughs> and Charles goes backwards, looks like he recycled back to Ben Winterbottom. on the Brentford have a bit of space in the back line and look wide to the trialist left back and a really good flick from Joe Adams but Ryan Trevor wasn't quite on the same wavelength as Magoma collects it in the middle of the park you can see what Paris was trying to do there he was trying to play it into Lockie's path but he just couldn't quite connect as the United player yeah, steps in that works and that's a very good ball and Lock Lockie's got a chance to go one on one Cambridge in possession. And come out wide. Jack Idell seen a lot of the ball in the left hand side. Certainly a challenge for Daniel Oigoke. That's Ryan Trevor chases. Ryan Trevor urging his teammates to get forward there. As Hulham picks up his left hand side, he's gone. Down the line to James Brophy. The ball's going to come in low. And it's over here, and there's no Cambridge player on the end of it as Joe Adams collects on the far side. A bit of space for Joe Adams, he's travelling with the ball here. And he's looked, I think the left back trial is probably going to get on the end of this. He's very quick. Unbelievable running from him. He looks back to Adams, who followed his run. Comes across to Brook. Brook with a bit of space on the edge of the box. He'll look to try his luck, but he can't quite find the angle as the ball's recycled out to Joe Adams. Joe Adams looks to get a George Williams. Ball into Nathan Young Coombs. Look for that one two, and it looks like Jones just running to George Williams there, and United get a get a free kick in their area. It's a really good interplay today. Yeah, combination's been classed, to be fair. I think, um, again, you look at the, the, the technical ability, a lot of these boys, you know, they now can do certain things that 
a lot of them probably aren't coached to do that, you know, that intelligence. But actually, then we do get a chance to see the time and effort that goes into it on the, the training pitch as well. It's a, it's a massive part of their game is the passing patterns and making sure that they understand each other's positions as well. As we go over his challenge there, the ball does fall for, kindly for Ryan Trevor though. It looks to go on the overlap with Joe Adams. Joe Adams plays Ryan Trevor in down the left. And he's done really well, Ryan Trevor, in the box. He's just looking to pick a pass. He's found Brooke. Brooke is challenged. Oh, oh. Looked like he was going to fall kindly for Nathan young Coons, but United just about managed to squirm the ball away from danger. Ben Winterbottom's got a long way from his goal there. And credit to the very decisive Ben Winterbottom there and just heading it clear. Give his team a chance to get back in position. Yeah, I think that's that long ball now coming over, coming over the top. If Ben can read those as well, that does a massive favour for, for us all. I thought Nathan, Nathan Coombs actually did um, the Cambridge lads a, a bit of a favour and trying to stay on his feet because I thought he got clipped. Yeah, certainly a, a crowd of bodies in that box. As the trialist midfielder picks it up here. Yeah, but he is under pressure very quickly and he's actually. Now, react, you've got down. to react, stop him playing quick. That's an opportunity for Wes Houlihan on the edge of the box here for a free kick. Very dangerous position. Ben Winterbottom will be ordering his wall. Must be disappointing in this. Because, yeah. you, know, you pick up possession there at the top of the box, you shouldn't really be messing around with it. I said a moment ago about giving away set pieces in around the box, you know they're going to be dangerous. And I'm guessing Houlihan's going to have a go on this. Yeah, certainly looks like it. Shows what I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, and it's uh, the effort was deflected off the wall, and for a second it looked like it would end up in that far corner. Then Winterbottom was beaten because of that deflection, but thankfully it did just edge the wrong side of the post. I don't know how Hulahan's not pulled rank there. I know. And we'll have a Cambridge corner on this left-hand side. James Brophy with the delivery. And it's a good defensive header by Daniel Ogo there. Ball comes back in by United. It is over hit. Uh, Brentford will just uh, regain possession there for a goal kick. And the referee has just blown for, for half time here. Slightly early on our clock, but uh, we'll put that to the to the graphics guys. Yeah, it's half time. And it's Brentford 3, Cambridge United 1.
Sort of thing you need to learn, isn't it? Eh? Nice. And we're back underway here, Bradford. Three one ahead. Free kick here for Cambridge. Day for Young Coons in the challenge. Alan, did you manage to catch any of Neil McFarlane's half-time team talk? I'll be honest, I, I did eavesdrop a little bit. Um, do you know what I think? We spoke earlier about this being the first game of the season, um, and Neil spoke to the lads and, and the staff about us wanting to almost put down a marker for what the season actually means to us. Um, and I think there's so many pleasing elements in that first half. He reiterated that and just said, look, you know, this is a, a marker for us and for the season. Um, irrelevant of what we, what we go on to do in this game, because, you know, f for me, they, they should come out and, and, and be strong in the second half from a Cambridge perspective. But actually, from our perspective, you know, this is really important now for us to say, yeah, we want to come make changes. Obviously, the change is going to happen for both sides. But we want to actually come on now and, and show that we can compete with these guys. Because there's going to be one or two players here that are going to want to try and get close to Thomas Frank's first team. Um, and if not, there's going to be one or two lads who might even go out and play league football. But they want to show they're good enough. A few half-time changes here. Nathan Shepard's coming to goal. Alex Gilbert into midfield. And Dom Jeffries also in midfield. Dom Jeffries obviously a new summer signing. Dom obviously spent time with us on trial last season. Yeah, good, good lad. Good, really, really good lad. Um, I think first and foremost, uh, in what the work he did uh, previously at Newport and then with Salisbury, Salisbury, excuse me, with Steve Claridge. Um, yeah, really impressive stuff. You see him today, he won't stop working. Ball down here on the left, Joe Adams is a. Uh Looks to get the better of George Williams, but he is brought down at Brentford with a free kick in a really, really good position. Not too sure if you can pick it up on the mic, but a few of the home fans are getting on Nathan Shepard's haircut. Uh, it's certainly one of those experiences that you uh, you get hardened to as, as your career career progresses, I guess. I say it's that it's that thing we can't we can't give them in training, um, and we're lucky enough today to have. 750 odd people here watching, but imagine if it's 75,000. Lachlan looks like Paris are going with the free kick. It's a really dangerous ball. The trial is centre half. Challenged Mutov there in the goal. But the goalkeeper did manage to get a clean punch away, and I think he did actually draw the foul as well. So. Alex Gilmore obviously coming in as well. He's been getting some minutes with uh, the two recent first team games as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's done well as well in both games. Um, really pleased for him, to be honest. Talented, talented player. As Cambridge come forward. Be something for yeah. us this season. Look at Coombsy's press. Be interesting to see how long he can keep up in this game with it being his first back. I'll, I'll take the bet on around 60 minutes. Yeah. That's Cambridge earned a free kick on uh, Harrison Dunk for Paris McGowan. Cambridge made a few changes here. Lines of Harrison Dunk, Paul Digby has come on as well. As Lloyd Jones drives forward from centre back. George Williams looks to cross. It's a cross to the far post and it will be collected. Houlihan looks to give and go, but McGoma really well read. 
And he manages to hook it away. Paul Digby now. Houlihan will protect it. As Harrison Dunk looks to cross it. It's interesting there. Alex just caught Cambridge's centre midfielder a little bit late. I wouldn't be surprised if you keep an eye on him now. Daniel Ogo looks to bring the ball down. It's a bit of a loose touch, but he manages to get away. As the ball's forward, Alex Gilbert with space to run into. There he is. There's his chance. Oh, and he is brought down here. I think it's Jensen Weir there with the challenge. Alex Gilbert, he did look to drive forward, but he, he sort of slowed up almost. And he's actually been given a bit of a push there. Yeah, that's really good. That space between the lines, I think it's going to open up more. To be honest, no matter who you are, where you are this stage of pre-season, you're not going to be at a peak. Um, you see Daniel when he picks up the ball and Alex, actually the other side of the midfield, those gaps are going to be, I think, open up more and more as this time goes on. Alex Gilbert, of course, was on international duty with Republic of Ireland in the summer, away in Marbella. Ball comes across. Greg Petralis looks in behind for Joe Adams. He looks to straight away from George Williams, but the linesman does put his flag up. It'll be a free kick to, to Cambridge. Interesting to see how many minutes these boys do get in the Brentford shirts. We have the final look to change things on the hour mark. Yeah, I think so. I think it'll be a few. Um, we've also got quite a big squad this evening, which is good. And um, a number of trialists obviously looking to impress, but also the squad's getting bigger and bigger and bigger as the season goes. Nathan Shepard just charged down there by Wes Hulahan. He has earned himself a goal kick off it. Interesting here are the two midfielders from Cambridge, how high they go and leave Alex and Nathan. I think there's an obvious ball there into Coombs' chest and Alex will be the first one to win that. Yeah, he has got a lot of space in that little pocket, Alex. He'll look to, to make the most of that as Nathan Shepard goes short from the goal kick. Daniel Ogo, really good, no, sorry, Paris go. really good skill there. Managed to get into some space. Lockley but looks for Nathan Young Coos, but I don't think they were quite on the same wavelength there. As the ball comes out to the right hand side. Oh, well done. She's got the wrong side of him there, managed to nick, nick around and win the ball back. That was good. Charlotte Tracy looking to get in down the right hand side for Cambridge. George Williams with the throw. Nice hurt hand looking to move, create some space. Good action break now, counter. Gilbert will drive forward, he's giving it to yeah. Adams early. Joe will drive down the left hand side, but he is just brought down there. Paul Digby, one of those challenges just to break up that counter attack. Certainly looked dangerous on the counter, and he's, he's opening six or so minutes. Yeah, the boys have got that, they've got that ability as well to do that. Not just the, the intelligence to go, but also they've got the physical capabilities as well. And you can see that in training. A lot of these boys now, the, the, the standards that they're achieving, you know, the performance department for the, the guys now, that they, they're just looking to raise the bar. So, yeah, I think a lot of these guys are deceiving me quick. Ball inside to Jeffries. He looks back to the trialist. Really good ball from the trialist into Paris Magomo. He looks to beat his man, but he is tackled there. But the ball falls kindly for Brentford. Joe Adams rises with George Williams, but George Williams just pushes Joe Adams there. The referee doesn't give a foul. Not very much a sort of challenge you get used to in men's football, Alan. Yeah, I think Joe, Williams there. Joe was expecting it. Probably be a bit upset if he didn't get a free kick. Yeah. Well played. Ball forward. Gilbert. And he just clears it down the left hand side, doesn't take any chances. Yeah, it's a good decision, good decision. There's no point giving them, you know, you're only five, six minutes into the second half, there's no point giving them momentum. Fix 
fixtures to come. Obviously, Alan, we've got Dulwich Hamlet coming up next Saturday. Yeah, really interesting game. Um, Dulwich has been good friends of the club for a long, long time. and um, I know Gavin's always you know, really welcome and got to that strong side when we played them. We you know, played them in the cup and, and friendlies over the years. So, yeah, really looking forward to that. And tickets will be on sale for that game. So, if you are in the area, I know it's the same day as a first team game, but if you are in the area, do get down to support the, the, young, boy, the young boys. Lachlan Brook looks back to Daniel Oigok. Charges forward, but he is challenged there. There's quite a collision there between ah. Daniel Oigok and I think it was Harrison Dunk there him flying in. Strong so. tackle. Yeah, no, I think Saturday would be a great day actually. I wonder how many people get a chance to go to both games. Ooh, comes across to Lloyd Jones. And out to George Williams. Joe Adams out there to press. Good. So this first part of the half, this is the test now. You got it. Ball comes out to George Williams. Williams with the cross out on the right. Really good block from the Brentford Charlist. Brentford would just want to. Hang in there, not concede again. Well, not concede early in this half. That's the last thing you want, isn't it, Alan? Yeah, that, that first 10 minutes really, really important. Don't get them back in the game. Try and get some some control in it. But Cambridge have just got a little bit more possession now. I think it's just, we're probably on the back foot, but that, that, that's going to happen. But I think not conceding now is really, really key. Now we've got an opportunity to build back into the game. We need to get this next two, three minutes are important. We need to get win back the ball, try and get some momentum. Charlotte tracing down the right hand side. The ball is just over hit and it looks like, yep, it'd be a, a Nathan Shepard goal kick here. The ball was just over hit by Shire Tracy. Couldn't quite get on the end of it to cross. Uh, Nathan's played a couple of goal kicks short. Um, and again, you look at the two centre midfielders now, 4 and 16, how high they are. There's a really obvious oh, ball in there. Just oh, drop it in. Yeah, a lot of space. Go. Uh, gone wide. He's gone for the kick to Daniel. Uh, and there's space in the middle here. It's Paul Digby. Looks to Wes Hulahan. He turns. Oh, and the ball, really good chance there. Sam Smith, the ball just straight away from him. It looked like he was going to have a, an opportunity to shoot a goal there, but he couldn't quite bring it under his spell. No, and you can feel it now, you can feel it. Definitely, I think a lot comes, comes from momentum in football, and they've got it at the moment. That's a challenge there from the left back. Managed to get the United attacker, managed to get in between Nathan Young, and Joe Adams. I don't think either wanted to challenge in that penalty area. No, nah, ref's going to try and even it up for sure. Was crossed in, and it's a header. I think it's what Alex Gilbert who won that header. Well Have another Cambridge corner. Next opportunity, I think we get now just to slow something down, take the sting out of it. Just need to defend this. Just trying to watch in the block for the blocks in the box, see if they do anything here. Try and take out one of the players. There, bang. Six of that saves Lord Jones. Oh, it's a really, really good header away from the Brentford trial. It's Lord Jones lurking at the back post. He was unmarked. It's locked the book. Tries to wrestle back possession. Dom Jeffries in there now. He's lost the ball. Dom Jeffries is a really good opportunity for Cambridge here. Wes Hulham on the edge of the box. He's turning and Paris McGo wins the tackle. It's a really good tackle from Paris. He did win the ball despite Hulham going down. Alex Gilby looked to bring Brentford up the pitch here. And Adams will look switch out quickly to Lachlan Brook. He has miskicked that, but it has fell for Daniel Oigo. Oh, Daniel Oigo's been caught there, and he's just brought his man down. He knew, he knew he'd been caught. He would have been away. Interesting. Here we've got five players the other side of the ball. So he's dropped back in, get back some shape. Hulahan now. Cambridge really looking to work an angle. The ball's crossed him. It's cleared away by the Brentford trialist. Alex Gilbert now with the ball, bit of space. Can he hang on to it? He goes back to Nathan Shepherd. Nathan Shepherd under a bit of pressure, but he kicks long for Nathan Shepherd. Nathan Shepherd, Nathan Young, did go down there, but the referee told him to get to his feet. As McGovern has found that a bit of space, he turns. He looks wide to the left, and the Brentford trialist can't quite get on the end of it. 
was the right idea for Paris Magoma. Yeah, I think you need to make your run wider there as a fullback. You know the ball's going to come out wide, come out wider, and be able to come in on it. Credit to that Brentford trial as a centre back. He's won a lot of headers against the, the physical front line. Yeah, he's done well, done well, really well. Been in training for, for a long now and actually really impressive. A little spell out and oh, it's a missed kick by the goalkeeper here. It's Fall of Carney for Lachlan Brook. He tries to beat his man, but he's he's challenged there as Magoma picks up from distance, but his effort is over. It look like Brentford are gonna get an opportunity to really work the goalkeeper there, but Magoma got his shot wrong. Goalkeeper goes short to Lord Jones. There's pressure. Alex Gilbert puts George Williams. He wins the ball, but Alex Gilbert really good from Alex Gilbert. Looks to hold on to the ball. And it's a good ball. Looks after it. Back to the centre back. As the ball comes now out to the right hand side. Brentford defender brings it out. He looks for Dom Jeffries. Lord, go batting in there. He's gone down a little bit easily there. Oh, the Shiloh Tracy is Cambridge looks to come forward. And so Brentford will look to make some substitutions very soon. Oh, it's a cross in there. I think it was Sam Smith challenging with the Brentford trialist. He looked to get his header on goal, but he hasn't been able to connect. Brentford will make their changes now. Lachlan Brewer, Nathan Young Coombs, real shifts for those boys. We're going to have two trialists coming on as well as Raynal Hercules. Raynal Hercules spoke to him recently over the summer. He's been doing a lot of running, a lot of work. He's come back in good shape, would you say? A oh, brilliant shape. He actually, I mean, I'm trying to think now, you know, not just on the speed test, but I think also on the fitness test. He's actually one of the best in the group. So, yeah, no. Mark changed since the last, start of last season. It's a fair play to him. Well done. You mentioned it being a season where he really wants to kick on, get more minutes under his belt, make more assists, more goals. He's certainly a very effective player. He played a little bit at wing back last season as well as a further forward. Interesting to see how he gets himself into the game on his first minutes. Yeah, I think you know, this is one of those players actually for me that he's actually stood out more in games. He's got some really, really positive moments. I think he's got an attribute on him that you know, not many defenders can live with. He's absolutely rapid. So I'd be interested to see if he can go and get his legs open here and try and get the full back. Certainly be an asset when you uh, need to bring the ball at the pitch. His ability to get forward and drive with the ball. That will come value for Brentford as they look to hold on to their 3-1 lead. Yeah, that's coming on now. Interesting, all good athletes, so it'd be good to see now whether or not we actually do drop off a little bit more and then try and start using the counter attack a little bit more. But also, I think as the game goes on, our fitness levels should start to tell because you know the fit group been training a number of days. I know we've not had the game minutes, but training sessions are intense and the, the levels of these boys now they'll be all right. A lot of these guys for 90 minutes, it's a good turn there by the uh, trialist on the back line. It's just over hit there for the left back, wasn't able to bring it under his spell. Joe Adams barking orders at the rest of the team to get forward. Call that Cambridge battle under some pressure. It's Daniel Olego challenges there. And he with himself a throw in. It's always interesting being this side, being able to overhear the coaching staff. Yanni Vianda, their goalkeeper coach, speaking to Nathan Shepard. Yeah, I think 
dealing with set pieces isn't easy on when you to keep the same eleven on the pitch, but when you change five, six, seven players, trying to organise those set pieces is tough. Boys taking you know lots of information coming on in those periods, but actually you know, five, six, seven pieces of paper with different positions. You know, the lads have really, really got to be switched on to it. And I think ultimately Nathan will take a lot of responsibility as a goalkeeper to organise the boys as they come on and, and know each position inside out. Certainly has those leadership qualities, Nathan Shepherd. He's unbelievable to be fair, he's a great lad. Um, I don't know many who would say anything other than that. He's a brilliant young man, glad to see him still with us. A very good cook as well I hear from Ben Hockenhoff, who we of course lives with. I know he's got his own little business, he does a few bits and pieces as well, so he's someone who's got his head screwed on and he's, he's you know, he's using the time he's got with us um, and he's using a lot of the staff to, to get ideas and um, yeah, so he's, he's been really good at kind of doing his own bits and pieces outside of football, so a lot of respect to him for that. Well, the gantry might have got clattered by the ball there from the uh, clearance. Short to Dom Jeffries from the throne. Just want to look after it there, Brentford. It's a bit loose. As Wes Houlihan is down by the right hand side. It's Ooh. a really tackle there from the Brentford trialist. Houlihan shrugs him off. He's looking after the oh. ball there. He plays it into Charlotte Tracy. Charlotte Tracy wins the foul from Dom Jeffries there. Opportunity here for Cambridge for a really dangerous ball in from a free kick. Yeah, what I love there, you see when Hulan had the ball, the centre of gra low centre of gravity, holding off the defender and just kind of using his back and body strength as well and experience just to keep those players away from him. And moving the ball inside and then obviously Cambridge winning the free kick. Hulan with a delivery. He goes low, it hits the wall and it's hooked away by one of the trialists. Break, break. And it's a dry break here down the left with the trialist. Couldn't hold on to the ball. It's really good defensive play from Charlotte Tracy as he looks to break inside, but he wins the foul. No real flow to this game at the moment. It's quite stop start, isn't it? No, I think in a way, someone like Alex Gilbert, he did it a moment ago, got the ball, kept possession. Um, we need now someone just like that just to use their experience. I know they're only young, but use their experience just to get back into the game. Gilbert looks forward. Ball just over here. George Williams collects. Neil McFarlane urges his side forward. Take that. A little bit of kick to touch that. More substitutes on 65 or so minutes for Cambridge. Ben Warman, Andy Dallas coming up. Wes Hulahan's night work is done, as is George Williams. That upsets me a little bit, that. <laughs> Liam Bennett also on for, for Cambridge, as Alex Gilbert looks to win the ball back. Charlotte Tracy does well. Look after it, they'll go back to the trialist. This is the part of the game now, it's quite interesting for me because I'm watching now and you think these players just come on. So a lot of trialists, a lot of people off the bench. You're only looking for one or two moments now for you to try and stand out, try and do something. But on the other side of it, obviously it's tough to actually have those moments and, and unfortunately not make a mistake. Oh, Bedford Charles goes back to Nathan Shepherd. Bedford seems to have got through that bit of pressure from Cambridge in the first 10, 15 minutes of the first of the second half, sorry. As Gilbert looks to turn, but he's win the ball back there, Cambridge, and they'll come forward. Dom Jeffries right now, challenges. Right now. Oh no! 
It's a challenge from Dom Jeffries there, and it looks like a free kick right on the edge of the box. It's a frustrating foul but from Brentford's point of view because they did get caught in possession. Yeah, it's a shame, man. Do you know what? Raynell was just coming back in, he was going to nick the ball back. It's be disappointing now, conceded from something like this. Yeah. It definitely won't be Wes Hulan this time. Yeah, <laughs> United step up from the free kick. It's oh. a good strike and it's just over. Just trying to see who took that free kick. I'm not sure of the number. It was Paul Digby with that effort just over Nathan Shepard's goal. Yeah, I like the way he's still trying to play and I think that bodes well. Just keep possession, keep style, keep style of play, keep going. Good. Brentford looks a break here. And one of the trialists is all on his own. And it's one back well by Cambridge. As he looks to break out from midfield. Pressure from Don Jeffries, but it's Paul Digby knocks it past Don Jeffries there. And looks like we'll have some more Brentford changes as well. Looks like Ryan Trevor will be coming back on. Along with Tristan Cramer at his first minutes and a trialist. This is better now, this is better. I see you can hear it, Swan's on the sideline, just keep the ball, just take the sting out of the game. They've made changes as well, so they've lost their momentum. And you've got a chance now to build back into the game. And then hopefully a chance for a couple of lads to It's lost here, Shiloh Tracy with the ball, not far from the Brentford area. A really good reaction from Alex Gilbert, he wins the ball back and he drives forward down this left-hand side. He beats his man, he does really well, Alex Gilbert. And he is eventually crowded out. Yeah, you can take a little positive out of that. I know Alex has given the ball away, but reaction after winning it, winning it back, good on him. Just had another little nibble there, Alex. I think he might have some eyes on him. Ball comes forward. And Gilbert once again involved, but he couldn't quite bring the ball under his spell there as Cambridge looked to go long. Another right. header away by the trialist, really comfortable. And the ball's brought forward to Alex Gilbert. Ball's broken kindly here. Cambridge will drive down the right-hand side. Andy Dallas can't quite get the better of the Brentford left-back. Dom Jeffries does intervene. And we'll have a corner here for Cambridge. 20 minutes to go. Again, we spoke about this, these set pieces now. Let's see, make sure we get everything covered, everyone in place. Looks good. Little moment for someone like Joe Adams as well to take control. I think they want him to step back. <laughs> it's how the, uh, the Bedford coaches are certainly trying to get their message across. Defending set pieces, the ball goes in. Nathan good. Shepard, really good goalkeeper in there from Nathan Shepard. He rose high and he's claimed it and he set Joe Adams away here down the left. Joe Adams with space to run into. The Brentford captain this evening. And he does check back. He hasn't got a lot of help, but he does do really well to win the foul. Jensen Weir there. Foul Joe Adams and Brentford will make some subs. And we'll have Ryan Trevitt coming back on. Tristan Cramer coming on. Daniel Oyogo coming off along with two trialists. Tristan Kramer, good to see him get his first minute to second season now with Brentford B. Yeah, he's a really interesting player. Obviously, we had a chance to watch him and, and pick him up after playing league football in France. Um, <laughs> sounds really interesting, but his, his English has come on loads as well. And he can now come here after knowing a lot about you know, the football club culturally as, as well as tactically but he's settled in I'm sure and glad to see him back after his injury. Dan Jeffrey's challenging there. It certainly helps to integrate when uh, Tristan's kind of getting hold of the language a bit more. 
yeah, that's tough for anyone. Um, I'm sure anyone who's moved overseas or anyone who's come in and doesn't have the language, it's tough to build into it and, and to make relationships. But I think uh, I'm glad in a way for him. Um, you know, last year we lived with one of the, the other lads, Jared. And Jared formed a really good relationship, but also get that chance to communicate as well, and that, that builds him a lot into the group. And great to see Jared as well with his recent move. Well, now with Gilbert. Uh, his pass is cut out there, but it falls calmly for Dom Jeffries. Trials will look at, across to Tristan Kramer. It's a really good play there from the Trials fullback. Ball now out with Charlotte Tracy. He looks to beat his man. He's got round him out on the right hand side. There's a bit of space here to run into. Dunford Charles does well to get back and the ball is crossed in but it's a really good block by Alex Gilbert there. Good to see Alex doing his defensive duties like he's done quite a lot this half. Yeah, he, went, he actually went in towards the goal there and he probably had a chance to come out and actually be closer to the uh, Cambridge fullback. But um, yeah, he managed to get across. Good header away from Reynold Hercules. The ball's fallen. Oh, it's an unbelievable save there by Nathan Shepard. I think it was Harrison Dunk with a strike from distance. Really powerful effort. And Nathan Shepard manages to push it away with one hand. That's one for the cameras, Nathan. You think oh, that was a good save? A good save, I actually enjoyed that. Do you know, it was one of those ones in training as a, as a player that just sat up so nicely. And um, yeah, I, I'm glad he connected, otherwise we could have lost the ball or lost the window. Um, but great save from Nathan. That's in from the corner. Nathan Shepard again, really good from Shepard as he punches. He's offside. Yeah. He's really assured, Nathan Shepard. Oh, he's done that. That's Nathan Shepard. Very rare of a risky pass there, but it's paid off and it's found Alex Gilbert and it's deflected in for the trialist. Yeah, what a ball from Nathan. That just broke two lines. Set that up, that was brilliant. Certainly a feature within the, the goalkeepers, particularly Brentford being the likes of Matthew Cox, Ben and Nathan being good with their feet, being able to play those sorts of passes. Oh, it's key, it's key. Yeah. Go on, they've taken that, good. So, yes, it's absolutely key for us. I think if you know, once they've got the ability to do that, all of a sudden you've got 11 players on the pitch, you can start, you know, move the ball, keep the ball, and it, it's massive. But also, you see what he does kind of. When we're out of possession as well, holding that high line, high line. So they need to be confident. They need not only confident to come out and clear the ball, but also playing around the back as well, which allows your defenders to be a little bit higher. And he can, again step up and all of a sudden cause a problem for their centre forward. Serena Hercules looks to put his man under pressure there. And he's done well to his credit. There's now Paul Digby in the midfield. Back to Lord Jones. He will drive forward and look to get his team away down the right hand side. It's a really, really good ball. Just too many legs on it. The young Cambridge. Liam Bennett was unable to get on the end of that one. Yeah, and then he's just ta taking it out of the game now, taking it out of the game. Two very different halves, would you say, so far? Yeah, definitely. I think the fact that you, know, you make so many changes second half, you do get lose a bit of the swing. But that first 15 minutes, actually really impressive from Brentford. We didn't have much of the ball. We were under pressure, but actually managed to maintain control of the game. And so it gives you a chance now going into the last 15 minutes. As you see this through, the positive result. And this will mean a lot to us. Absolutely. Rainer Hercules doing his defensive duties there, but he's... He's missed time that challenge. <laughs> Almost looked like he slipped as he went into the challenge. Just glad everyone's okay. <laughs> it's the ball that's for Sam Smith. The trial is Brentford defender managed to get ahead of it, but I think Sam Smith was just about offside there. As the linesman flags. You can just tell Nathan now to taking this thing out of the game slowly, going to pick the ball up, making a little slow jog across, making it look like he's putting the effort back. Actually, that just takes that out from. Good, and now just start picking out 
there's a chance here if you look five and four actually behind their midfield so once it comes in here any second ball we should win there. that's a really good win from Raynell Hercules he's done a give and go with the try as Hercules drives forward and looks like he's played Ryan Trevitt in there on the right Ryan checks onto his left foot he's played it inside to the box Trevitt still with the ball out on the right really good ball into Dom Jeffries ball eventually comes in from the right it's a really good cross Oh, and the Brentford trial is coming around on the, the far post on the left hand side couldn't quite get a shot on target didn't quite connect with it well well done Reynolds Kramer into oh. Reynolds Hercules Cambridge do win the ball back and they made it to break night they go back Gill were just caught out there by a clever flick. Good pressure from Dom Jeffries in the midfield. As the ball comes forward, looks for Tracy. Tracy's in here. I don't think the Brentford Charles is going to catch him. That's another good stop from Nathan Shepard. Charlotte Tracy down on the right hand side. He had a lot of space. He went low, and Nathan Shepard, credit to him down quickly and a really good save pushes it behind yeah for me I think there's only a couple of places you can actually score there you can go across him or you can try and hit top corner near side but he's put it low to Nathan's left Nathan's left and, uh, yeah unfortunately he's not going to score he also has a support striker coming across as well and I think he might have a word with him afterwards I think if this is a league game he definitely does and we'll have a Cambridge corner well, he's challenging Tristan Cranmer does win the head it's up in the air but credit to Nathan Shepard once again he, Tristan Cranmer I don't think he meant to, to head it completely direct up in the air but thankfully Nathan Shepard was there on hand to collect helped him out Brentford just needs to look after the ball a bit better here Cambridge beginning to see a lot more of it particularly in the middle of the field this Dom Jeffries does well to win it back on Silas Gilbert really good turn from the Brentford trialist there Low, just lacking a little bit of whip, so hopefully we can maintain the ball. Skillwell looks down the right for Reynold Hercules. I don't think the defender will catch him. He's very quick, but the touch is just heavy from Hercules, and the keeper is out very quickly to collect. Ball for Sam Smith does hold the ball under the pressure from the Brentford trialist. Smith still with the ball. He's under pressure from three Brentford players. Looks to go back, and the ball works his way back to the Cambridge keeper. Ten minutes to play or so here. Yeah, I think last couple of substitutions, and then I think I say we get a chance to run in these last eight, nine minutes, whether or not they're at much stoppage time at all. But yeah, chance for the boys now would be a really, really positive result for us. This really pleased to start the pre-season so far, no matter what. Yeah, change for Cambridge here, Mamadou Joe coming on. the Brentford trial let's start on the right just to get us back underway <laughs> temperatures certainly dropped here in Cambridgeshire Not quite the heat that we've seen over the past few days as the trialist comes forward and centre back it's pass is cut out but Ryan Trevitt picks up the loose ball really well he looked to drive at the Cambridge back line here he is just crowded out he can't quite pick a pass to find his teammate as the ball comes long Sam Swift challenges with the Brentford trialist but Ford Carnley it looks like Cambridge have a free kick here they have a yellow card for the Brentford trialist Yeah, I think it's fair. Look, sounded probably worse than it actually was. Um, let's hope we can keep organised now. Good, just to slow that down. Nothing easy. It's Cambridge drive down the right. It's a really, really good cross from Bennett. Smith did win the header under a lot of pressure and uh, wasn't going on target, but Nathan Shepard does collect as he rolls it out shortly to to Tristan Kramer. Oh, it's a very risky pass from Tristan Cramer there. Alex Gilbert helps him out by sliding. 
Would have been a really, really dangerous moment if Cambridge had managed to get onto that one. So these are the moments in the game. One, two touch, just move the ball, keep it moving, take it away from their press. Really good experience for these young Brentford players. Something they really will learn from. I've been impressed by Cambridge. In fact, they're still really pushing for this now. It's going to put us under pressure. And I think no matter what happens, the last 10 minutes, you know these boys will have learnt a lot today. It's Brentford make another change. It's a trialist for a trialist. right hand side he looks to cross Hercules just stoops to head that and Don Jeffries collects but he just hoofs it upfield and Brentford look just to get a bit of a better field position Alex Gilbert heads forward it's good play Charles looks to Ryan Trevor Ryan Trevor's battling along there Paul Digby I think it is really good battling there from Ryan Trevor it's Don Jeffries collects the goalkeeper's kick looks wide to Reynell Hercules Tristan Crowley was his uh, trial is defender. No, no favours there. It's a sloppy one, isn't it, Alan, that one? Yeah, rusty, rusty. But do you know what? Let's hope he can make amends. The ball's down on the right-hand side. It looks like he's going to cover. The player's going to drive into the box. It's a crowded box there. And the trial has just about managed to get it clear. It's the ball's now with Alex Gilbert. It looks to bring it under his spell. Can he bring Brentford up the field? Clear. Really, really good chest down by the striker. The ball's in right trust. Reynold Hercules is steaming down the right hand side. The trialist will find him, but to be fair, it's very good defending. Harrison Dung there just sliding in to prevent Hercules from getting away. Tristan Cromer around five minutes to go. That's a loose pass from the trialist. Gilbert collects, but it's into the path of Smith. It's a really good challenge there from Dom Jeffries to stop Cambridge breaking. A clever little nudge there from the trialist just to slow that down on the 10. It's interesting here, you're playing with three centre-backs and a winger in your back four, so I think you might get caught here, but you would like to think there's enough organisation between these three. It's a good ball from Kramer, and he's found Raynor Hercules on the right-hand side, and he's played it down the right to another of the trialists, and it's a, the trialist will keep the ball here despite the challenge. He's battling on there. Uh, but it's credit to the defender, he just managed to get his body in front as the ball went out for a goal kick. Yeah, you've got that second chance there, I think, then you've got to deliver. That's your moment, you've got your opportunity, then you've got to cross. Yeah, that's good press in there from Brentford. Yeah, just, just lacking a couple of options now, I think, as you come in late. Still want to play, obviously, fair play to him. Credit to Cambridge, still want to play, but I think, yeah, just unfortunately not got the options to play into midfield, so they're trying to go over the top. And like I say, with those centre-backs nice and high, there's, there's not the space to play into. Let's move moving to these final minutes. Adam, who's been the, Alan, who's been the, uh, the standout players for you? Do you know what, really pleased with uh, the lads, second half. Dom's a uh, couple of nice touches. I'm glad of his energy's carried himself through the game. Um, lovely to see Alex playing again. Um, and then first half, I think, you know, what Ryan Trevitt's done in there um, was great. But I think for me, there's one standout really, and that's Coombsy. Um, really, really pleased. Well, obviously, if everyone get the, the, the time, the minutes, and let's get through the end of 90, and hopefully everyone's fit and well. But yeah, Coombsy today, you can just tell he, he triggers everything for us. Um, glad he got a goal but it's what he done off the ball for me, um, some energy. Very impressive start to his life at Brentford. Nathan Young Coombs played an hour, but hadn't played a game since December. He's 
Brentford look to hold on for these final minutes. They've still got that two goal advantage in, intact. And it's hoof forward. It is so good to see fans back, isn't it, Alan? Yeah, do you know what? Really interesting. We had a, obviously a really nice end to the season where we managed to get a number of fans into the, not just the new stadium, but also into Wembley. And the change in, in atmosphere, the, the enthusiasm, the energy they provide, I think that's why probably this is you know, a game that we all love, but also means so much to so many of us. Um, there's a, there's a different, different type of atmosphere when you get 10, 12, 15,000 people in and around singing and chanting. So yeah, chuffed a bit. A special thank you to those Beast fans that have made the journey here today. And obviously thank you to those that are watching at home as well. 1,200 of you watching. It was touch and go whether we get the stream go with the internet, but we've just about managed to do it with a couple of minutes left. Someone's 4G is taking a battering. <laughs> Very expensive bill. <laughs> Good test it. Yeah, it's very Touch. well read by Nathan Shepherd. And that'll do for this evening. It's a Brentford win. It's 3-1 to Brentford. A fantastic start to pre-season for Neil McFarlane's side. They've had to wait for this game, two games postponed, but they've made the journey to St Neots and they've picked up a very impressive 3-1 win. Opening goal came from Ryan Trevitt before Cambridge hit back very quickly. Joe Adams then found the net for the penalty spot and then Nathan young -Coombs, very impressive debut from the youngster, got himself on the score sheet to make it 3-1. Thank you once again for everyone joining and we'll see you next time. <laughs>